So, tell me about yourself. So naturally this is the dreaded question in job interviews and whilst this video won't be a how to for job interviews, it will help with things like careers, employability and job prospects just based on my own experience, how I got work experience, the resources that are available on Lancaster University campus and people you can talk to to help answer this question. So without further ado, on with the video. So I'm a joint English literature and history major and my course has helped because throughout the year there have been, and throughout my whole university experience, there have been regular careers and employability lectures, either giving you um, the know-how on tips to a job interviews or how to find opportunities like internships and work experience or bringing in people from other industries to talk about their experience and how they got where they were. So it can be internal speakers, so lecturers and members of staff who have perhaps written books um, or held workshops or become a lecturer and how they got there or external speakers talking industries like journalism, writing, publishing, the arts, all this sort of stuff so regular exposure to that has really helped. The careers lectures that we had through English literature are regularly held by uh, Elaine Davies who works in careers here and she also holds one-to-one -one appointments via Target Connect that you can book. Just get a 15 or 20 minute appointment if you want to talk about personal statements, CVs, cover letters, job applications, graduate schemes, all this sort of stuff, any careers related queries you have, either Elaine or anyone in the careers department are really good and can help. You can also find out about this through The Base, who are there for any sort of queries related to careers or employability. My course has really helped because it's also where I found out about the Lancaster Mentoring Programme, which not a lot of people seem to know about, but this was such a useful um, programme to me so what happens is you email in the interest the industry you're interested in going into what you've done so far what you study all that information and you'll be partnered with someone in the industry you want to go to so i want to be a journalist so i was partnered with the managing director of bbc radio lancashire in blackburn and it's really good for networking and talking to someone who's already been there and done everything you want to do. So we met for regular coffees and our mentor John Clayton also took us on a trip to Media City where we got to meet other journalists and network there as well. It's been a really good source of information for helping out with CVs, job interviews, reading portfolios but then also nice just to have a contact on the inside just to give you a bit of know-how when maybe you're struggling a little bit. My course has also helped just from the transferable skills I've now got just from assignments and bits and bobs I've had to do as part of my course. So public speaking, for example, when I'm doing a group presentation, group work then and teamwork, um, managing my time, working in a highly stressful, <laughs> deadline driven environment helps you manage time, consolidate, plan and organise presenting information, researching for assignments, it all goes towards stuff you're going to use in the future. So whilst I've been at uni, I've done quite a few part-time jobs just to earn myself a bit of extra money, both in and outside of uni, um, whilst I've been here, just and also just to get a bit of extra experience. So whilst, whilst I've been here, I've been a Be The Chain student ambassador, a department ambassador, an outreach ambassador, a graduation helper, a freshers fair assistant, and now a digital content ambassador. And all these roles are within the university, so I found them through the Lancaster Employment and Recruitment Service. They've got part-time jobs and full-time jobs. Um, on there throughout the year where you can apply, they're really helpful, they're all internal and it just earns you a bit of extra money. Outside of the university I've done quite a bit of various stuff, like I said I want to be a journalist so I got a part time job as a journalist in my first year of university and I've been doing that for two years now. So I've been a journalist, I've been a front of house staff at the Royal King's Arms in town, I've been a bartender, an online English tutor and an interviewer with the Times Higher Education Supplement. So as you can see there's loads of opportunities to pick up part time and full time work while you're at Lancaster for whatever you want to do. Some of these I have done in Lancaster, some of them I've done at home. And even though some of these jobs are specifically tailored for certain sectors like education or hospitality or writing and journalism, again these all still have transferable skills like I mentioned, writing, people skills, group work teamwork, deadlines, all these sort of things all add up that can really help with the playability in the future. Finally there are loads of societies on campus um, and elsewhere that you can get involved with that can also really help with um, employability and careers later in the future. 
as an aspiring journalist, I got straight into student media as soon as I started university. So I've been involved with the student newspaper, The Scan, since I joined university. Um, I'm currently editor of that as well. I also got involved with Bailrig, which is a student radio station, and I hosted a regular show on there in my first year. I also got involved with LA1, which is the TV station, um, and I helped out as a broadcaster and as a presenter on there for the Roses Sports Weekend in 2019. Um, again, all the transferable skills and just more experience and also loads and loads of fun.